Welcome to another video. I'm back at EcoWagon HQ again. Thanks to EcoWagon for allowing me to film. It's the guys looking after my van once again, covering it with the wax-based paper. Craig is putting some swarf gatherers um, under, under the window, so when he starts cutting, he, it won't go all over the carpet. So I've done this arse about face. The carpeting should be done after the windows are cut out and I wanted to get on and do something in my van, so I carpeted it at home. Anyway, Craig wasn't bothered, it's just a little bit extra work for him. And he graciously um, did all the extra preparation because of it. Revealing what's gonna, metal's gonna be removed. Yeah, dirty great big step drill bit. Quite hard to watch <laughs> when it's your own van. So Craig's making these holes to allow the um, electric shears to go in. The smaller holes at the bottom is for the pneumatic hacksaw. And the pneumatic hacksaw is to cut the panel braces inside. You'll see in a moment those. Craig's making sure it's dead straight. Neatness is everything when you're doing windows. And there goes the blade. Noisy, horrible thing, but very effective. goes through it like cheese but not as quick as these guys I mean look at that that's Craig having a bit of fun yeah I mean these electric shears I mean my goodness me what a revolution I mean compare that to somebody using a grinder or a jigsaw it's, it's no comparison and if you did see anybody using a grinder by the way I'd run, run a mile in the opposite direction because it's not the right thing to be using you don't want sparks or anything hot anywhere near your van. Look how neat that is. It's really nice to watch once you've gotten over the fact that like, big holes are being cut. But when, when they know what they're doing and you trust the people that are doing it, it's, it's good fun. Makes a surprisingly not a very sharp edge. You'd think it'd be like a razor. But anyway, um, Craig will use a file to get rid of any birds if there are any. I thought I'd show you all the windows getting cut out, but in my case, the tailgate didn't need doing because it came from the factory with a, um, a glazed rear uh, with a wiper. So save me a bit of loot. So the windows I'll be using are aftermarket windows. They're not VW glass. Uh, I, I thought I used VW glass in the last van I did. All very nice, but it's ridiculous. It's so expensive these days, and it, I don't think the um, there's the crew. I don't think the VW glass is is as good as the uh, the good aftermarkets anymore. I mean, the sliders are fantastic in the aftermarkets, and because I chose a slider sliding window for both sides, the sliding door and the offside. Craig will be using some of the PU there to fill up any holes from the, where the factory might have missed in between the two skins. And that's a primer essential to put that on the edge. Now that will stop any rust for the life of the van. And that's Craig having to do sort of a retro thing for my, because of my carpeting. There's a knock on edge that goes on the sliding door only. And that's because you don't um, carpet the your sliding door, and if you do, uh, I don't know how you've done it because it, it usually looks hideous. So traditionally we don't do that. So you put on that knock on edge. So this is, makes a super neat edge, and once it's done, when the window is on, it looks like it's come from the factory like that. It makes a very, very nice overlap over the cut edges. Craig's putting um, a little template, and, and this is for the matte tape. It's um, so in between the glass. You, you don't want to see the colour of your van. It's not so prominent on a grey van like mine, 
But say if you had a white van, the, the white line between the t two dark glass uh, windows, it just looks wrong. So they put this matting tape on and it, it, it looks very sophisticated. Tiny little details like that matter, it's surprising. Some more primer, this time the primer's there for bonding of the glass. Critical stage, having enough but not too much. Particularly the, the um, PU itself. It's so easy to put too much on and what a nightmare mess that would make. So the glass has to be scrupulous and this is the aftermarket windows which Ica Bafan, Ica Wagon uh, use. Fantastic fit. Absolutely look like they grew there when they're done. As good as at the VW factories, I, in my opinion. If they're put on properly, of course. And that sliding window there, that one just opened. The mechanism inside it's a, it's a wonderful mechanism, it's vastly superior to um, Volkswagen. And that's Craig making sure that we're absolutely spot on. Here we are, taking all the prep off. Here's Craig with the in the van as usual, bless him. And we'll leave off with a word from Mr. Eco himself, Kenny Green. Hi, I'm Kenny from Eco Wagon. Just want to say a bit about the two types of opening windows we fit. This one here is your standard recessed opener. You've got recess here. These are quite neat, these little windows, because you've basically, you open it up like that, and you've got this fly screen here, which is really neat. And you open it, and you can open it right out, have it half open, shut it like that. And then another top type, these are a little bit more expensive. These are the nice flush ones, similar to the Volkswagen windows. Um, these ones don't come as a fly screen, but most of our vans have fly screens built in anyway in the blind systems. This van here is having uh, flush windows fitted. Um, when we fit the windows, we always make sure that we protect the van. So we use this wax-based adhesive paper it just stops any, any swarf or, or damage anywhere to the van like that. When we're fitting the windows, we never use a grinder. In fact, when we do anything to the van, we never use a grinder because that causes sparks, which can damage paintwork, interior, glass. So what we use is we use an air hacksaw here and then to cut the rest of the hole, we use a metal shear to go around. Once we've cut the hole, we use a deburring tool to get rid of any burrs on the edges and then we protect them with this primer here, right round. Um, in between the windows, people don't like to see the colour of the van, so we use this black tape here. Um, and then on the edge here on the sliding door, we put this knock-on edge in, because it's seen from the inside, and that just finishes them off nicely like that. Uh, if you're interested in it for services, um, you can, you can uh, all the information is on the website, www.ecowagon.co.uk. Our contact details are on there as well, so just send us an email or give us a call.